What's up, guys? Atlas Plays here, back with some more Pokemon Showdown today. Um, today, I think I'm going to just be sticking to Ubers. I feel like doing some Ubers today. Um, I don't think we've actually ever shown Ubers off on this channel. If we have, it was probably like for like one game or something. But um, I got a pretty good team that I like to call a whole lot of threats. Um, it has Calyx Shadow with a uh, single strike or Shifu Choice Scarf. Um, I got a Zygarde on there. Um, attacking Eveltal with, uh, oh, I don't need double music. Um, attacking Eveltal that can also defog so that we can keep like sticky web and stuff off the field. Weakness policy in a Crosma Dusk main just to like, at most it can sweep if you get two Dragon Dances off, but usually it's a good switch into Eveltal to then Sunsteel Strike and kill it. Especially if it like sucker punches on the turn you bring it in or knocks off. And then we have a panic button ditto. Just in case our opponent gets a little too out of hand, we can at least do something with that. So usually I like to start off with our Shifu here. Just to like scout out what they want to start off with. And then U-turn out if I don't like it. So yeah, I definitely want to U-turn out. Um, he might be fast. I mean, he might think he's faster. But usually people will probably run Choice Band instead of Choice Scarf. So he does opt to bring an Eternatus here. So... On this thing, I actually want to bring in Calyrex. And I say that because I can get a future side off as he goes into Eveltal. So now I'm in that position where I can I switch in my. Oh, this remix is so good. Um, where I can bring in my Necrozma on the obvious knockoff, but I don't. I think I take too much even with the Prism Armor, so I kind of want to wait for that. So, I don't want to get my life orb knocked off either. Uh, let's just go into Shifu. If he, knock, I say, if he knocks off, he knocks off. Um, I don't want to take a Sacred Fire to the face. So, I'm going to U-turn out again. Into Ditto. Just to scout what he wants to go for. It's probably Brave Bird. Yeah. These things are kind of loco. We should also be taking... Yeah. So, if Brave Bird did 44 to me... I should kill him then, right? Oh, it was close. It was super close. But I'm still Scarf. But he does make the very smart switch. I'm going to go out into Urshifu here. He's just going to get rocks up. I'm going to Wicked Blow. Two more Wicked Blows will definitely take this thing out. I don't care if he's toxic. He has no way of recovering without risking himself. Um, I'm going to get these rocks off my field as well. And if he brings in the Eternatus, then I guess I can just... Okay, he goes into this instead. I'm going to Dark Pulse it, though. I do outspeed. Um, does not take it out, but it does put it in range. And then I'm going to go ahead and Oblivion Wing, predicting the Weavile to come in. So that's great. Let's go into Eveltal. He does go for beat up, unfortunately. Um... And he does take out my Necrozma. So I don't have my panic button checked to Eveltal anymore. But something's going to die soon. Because our Shifu's poised to start killing. Um, I just really need to get the proper switch in on... See, I don't know what his speed is on this thing. So I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to go for Draining Kiss. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for another Draining Kiss here. Just to see how much it does. I am sashed, so at most I can get a shit ton of damage off on this thing. And he's low enough where Wicked Blow will take him out. I kind of want to save those for Necrozma though, so I'm going to actually U turn. U turn should knock this thing out. Yep. And. Uh, hmm. See, I'm in a position, unfortunately, where. His Weavile can kind of come in for free. Let's calc it. Let's calc it. Because I want to see if Sucker Punch from my Eveltal will take this thing out. Where is it? There we go. I want to see if Sucker Punch will take this thing out if it does come in. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to go into Ditto, unfortunately. And I don't want to do that. So let's see. Eveltal to Weavile. Sucker Punch does... Oh, it does 37 to 44. Okay. 
So I think we're good. We can go ahead and bring in the Veltal here. And then Sucker Punch the Weeva. It should definitely be knocked out. So with Urshifu in the back. Oh, I don't know why you brought this in. Because it did 40 something percent last time, right? Um, I'm going to do that. Okay, we definitely win now. I will. <laughs> And then we can try to flinch this thing. And then Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Cause even if he didn't Um even if he uh didn't hit me, I still had uh Zygarde, which would definitely survive at least one hit, and also Urshifu, I think also had Sucker Punch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So that was a good first one. Um my opponent played really well. I just think I had a lot of like evenly good checks for things that didn't really like get snowballing out of control and stuff but um yeah that's the first game hopefully we can continue up this uh this good streak of luck i thought i looped this oh there's like <laughs> um let's see so I definitely want to keep my Necrozma alive for that Xerneas. I got to keep my Evelta around for his Calyrex Shadow. Lead Aerodactyl is different. But what if I start off with Ditto? Because then I can get my own rocks up, right? I also could probably... I actually want to see. Can... Aerodactyl... Do people usually run Aerodactyl in Ubers? Not really. Oh, Uber Stealth Rock Lead. And it's Focus Sash. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to deal with that. Um, and it'll be 394, so even with the plus one, I would... I mean, he'll, he'll get plus one, right? And then plus two, I'll have 440, so I will have out speed at plus two. But question is if he's running earthquake oh that's not even oh that's not even touching me okay cool 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 so let's start off with necrozma dragon dance up as he gets up his rocks okay guess not <laughs> guess not um i don't think there's any way to stop rocks from going up so i just have to like not bring out Calyrex to make sure oh, I don't know why you did that I'm slow as hell like I'm already slow what was the point yeah um, what do I bring in on this because if he close combats that could really hurt my my uh, eval tall so I might have to sack this yeah I think I have to sack this because worst of worst, he close combats, he makes himself in range of Sunsteel Strike. If he does a dark type move, then he activates my weakness policy. And he's banded. That's definitely banded damage. Because, um, or Shifu single strike, Wicked Blow, 100 but That's actually a crazy roll. Um, but Choice Scarf, Wicked Blow. Because I don't even take out opposing, yeah. That's definitely banded. Okay. So let's Oblivion Wing here. That's a dead <laughs> that's a dead mon. Um I'm going to Oblivion Wing again. He does go for the uh Geomancy. Um I'm super weak to that too, and I need this for defog. So now we go ditto. Go for the moon blast. We don't take it out, but this is fine. This is fine. Cause let's see, Geomancy Xerneas at plus two is five twelve. I don't have anything that outspeeds it, but I do have a bunch of priority. Has he seen Sucker Punch? No, he has not. Yeah, I'm gonna say he. I don't think I've shown Sucker Punch yet. So. The biggest threat on his team is almost gone. The other biggest threat on his team is Calyrex, which I need this for. So I think I'm actually going to go Zygarde. 
he gets a lucky, lucky ass crit. I'm gonna have to. And is he? Is he? Uh, he's not even life orb. He's just lucky. That crit is super unfortunate because I would definitely would have lived at Dark Pulse, right? Um, unless he was Specs. Um, and then I could have glared him the next turn and then set up with Zygarde. But now because of that. I'm in a really tough spot. And he outspeeds me as well. This guy's just getting all the luck in the world. Okay, so. Um, how do I win this? So, if I close combat here. Is there even a way to win this? I'm like thinking. Is there even a way to win this? Um, Eveltal. Let's just say he's a special attacker. So, close combat will do 75%. Then Draining Kiss will finish him off. Do I even live the Sucker Punch? I don't. So, so what if I U-turn, right? I U-turn out. U-turn out. That does about 20, 25. 25%. But even, cause even if I do that, even if I U-turn out, You know what? Let's just close combat. If I lose, I lose. Yeah, okay, I definitely lost. So. Nothing I can do against that. Unfortunately, that lucky crit that they got with their freaking Eveltal. Because they definitely would have lost. Make no mistake. They should have lost that battle. But, you know, luck. People get lucky. What can you do about luck? Um, just going to start off with Urshifu again. I'm not releasing really anything that I necessarily can't switch into. Like... The Necrozma, well, if it's lead, it's rocks. And I will just wicked blow that thing twice. If it's Regilecki, I'll switch out into Zygarde, who he can't touch. Um, and if it's any of the other guys, then I have switch ins for them too. So I'm really annoyed by that though. That I don't I don't like luck. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. So yeah, we got a Necrozma here. Uh, I mean we got an Eveltal here. Do I want to go into Necrozma though? Or do I want to go into my Eveltal? Because the worst he could do is... I actually think I am going to go Eveltal. Yeah, so the worst he really can do is knock off. And he's probably might fear knock off of my own. Okay, he just stays in. He's probably Roost then. Yep. Uh, he's Roost. Roost, and I don't see any item. What are you going into a lucky now? And then get a double to. He probably is. He's probably going to go to Reggie Lucky and then double to like uh, Eternatus. Because he brings out a lucky on this, and he's definitely doubling. I played enough Mons to know that. Uh, straightforward ones are in reverse. Plus this guy is what? What is his rating? 1535. So he's competent. He knows what he's doing. Um, I don't know why he's taking so long to go into Regilecki. Like, I know you're going Regilecki. You're not... You, like, what else would you go into? Marshadow to get fucking uh, Oblivion Wing? What? 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 <laughs> no way. Does this thing knock me out? Marshadow... Uh, low kick is a roll. I don't think you're gonna low kick though. Yeah, that was that was not smart. Yep. All right, so I don't have to deal with that now. Uh, let's go into Regilecki. I mean, to Zargard on the Regilecki, and he doesn't double. And I will glare now. Dragon Dance up, substitute, substitute. I honestly just need, yep, I just need the one roll. Uh, substitute, get my father form, as Poke Aim would say. Dragon Dance up again, Dragon Dance up again. Thousand Arrows, I think, at this point, will sweep. 
I'm at 792. You should die. Yeah. So yeah, that's those are kind of battles I like. I like it where Zygarde can come in on a... Like, like you literally just saw it. If you go back to freaking turn 13... No, no, no. Not turn 13. Turn 12. I put in a substitute on Regieleki and he brings in the Zygarde. Wait, no, that's not the turn. Where is it? There we go. I put in a substitute on the Regieleki. He goes down to Zygarde and I glare it. I would have lived... Even if I wasn't behind a substitute at that point, I would have been able to take the knockoff or the Dark Pulse or the Oblivion Wing and Baron, I don't get like crit like the last guy or flinch by Dark Pulse. I still would have had enough to substitute again on the following turn after I glared. Which means I would have been able to set up and leave. I mean, set up and win. Um, but yeah. So, that's two games with this team. That's the team that I built myself. This is like my original team. I really just wanted a whole lot of threats. Um, let's see. I don't. I li this Weavile team is kind of ass. I don't really like it. I want to use something that... And this team is kind of really hit and miss. Like, Shuckle Web is fun. I really just want to use Landorus and Dracovish. But it's so hit and so you can like get walled super easily. Um, Obstagoon webs looks fun. I think this is one of Joey's teams. And then I think I copied that and put... I changed a set on something. And then this is Paralysis. I mean, I sampled that team to make this team, which is basically uh, paralyzing everything so Obstagoon and Cinderace can have their fun. Let's actually try this team. I think I used this team one time and I might have won but it was super close so I actually want to see was that just a lucky win or is this team actually good and I probably should like actually test these teams off screen but uh no please clear everything thank you uh, yep we got the team loaded all right, we're still waiting. Uber's ladder is like in you ladder sometimes. Like you'll be waiting a long time just to get a game, but it's fine. We're having fun here. This might be the last game though. I don't want to go too, too long today. I just kind of wanted to get something up there. Oh, I guess since we're waiting, did you guys see the new Pokemon Scarlet Violet news? The game that I can't wait to come to Showdown because I don't think I want to buy it. It looks like the game itself looks whatever it looks like a good average game nothing spectacular nothing about scarlet and violet that i've seen so far has like made me want to go out and purchase it like it just looks competent but like there's no, like when, when gen 6 came out mega evolution was the big thing that made me want to buy the game when gen 7 came out I i'm not gonna say z moves were it was honestly just i love the locale of like a hawaiian um region and in gen 8 you know it was the first switch console title but now we're kind of like used to everything we're used to like gimmicks we're used to the switch look i don't like how the game looks i think the key art for those games like for characters and stuff look way better than the in-game models like the pokemon models are good of course because of course the entire selling point is the pokemon so the pokemon should look good but um in general, I just don't like how everything else looks. Um, let's start off with Grimmsnarl. Uh, I'm going to get up a Reflect here. And he's probably just going to want to get up Rocks. Actually. Cinder Ace. No, I don't want to risk it. Let's just get up Reflect. Alright, so we got the Reflect up. Let's go into Obstagoon now. He does get the stuff rock up. I am going to go for the knockoff. I think on whatever comes in does not appreciate a knockoff. Actually, let's calc it. Because we do have a calc. So Guts is activated. Does it have a thing for Guts being activated or no? Okay, it does. Um, so Groudon, let's just say it's offensive stealth rock, facade will do a lot more, 
And I, I don't want to go for Facade because he might go into Calyrex, but I'm, let's just go for it. So he does go for Precipice Blades. Um, he should go into Calyrex or one of his ghost types to, like, sponge this hit. But he might also just stay in. And this is exactly why I want to get out the Reflect. Um, so no leftovers for him. Um, just going to go for another knockoff. There's no point in switching up. Because it'll hit whatever wants to come in. Um, he's definitely going into like Calyrex or something now. And that, that's I think this is the, the big issue with this team. Is that it can't really take hits. Right? So low kick here. I know these things run Rock Tomb. But with the Reflect Up I feel like I should take it. Uh, let's just go for it. Okay, so he did that. So with him being paralyzed, that's going to help a lot. Um, hmm. Shadow Snake would be annoying. At least I can get off something with Grim Snarl. Okay, so he's just going to keep bulking up. I don't. What is he bulking up to do, though? Because I guess he could go for the, um, what's that move called? Spectral Thief? Yeah. So that does do a lot. I am going to switch, though. <laughs> because now that you're paralyzed, I don't have to fear the Shadow Sneak. I can just literally bring this in and go for knockoff. So Ho-Oh will get Regenerator back to a decent amount of health. Enough to sponge at least a hit from something. And this is a guaranteed knockoff on something. If he gives me the Marshadow, that's amazing. But I think he might just go Eveltal and get that item knocked off. Yep. Um, and depending on what set he's is... Because what are Eveltals usually? Let's just say it's fast utility. That's still 326. Especially defensive, it's slower. So do we bank off that or do we go into something else? Um, I do have other threats for like these things so I'm just gonna sack this uh, let's see I'm gonna go to Necrozma here and I'm going to Sun Steel Strike yeah I knew he would probably taunt a lot of these fast Eveltals are like taunt defog with like Oblivion Wing and I think the last would be I don't know um, I'm actually going to switch into Grimmsnarl here because I am afraid of this thing. And if I can paralyze this, this would be amazing. And he shouldn't want me to do that. Because even at plus one, that would be like bad. I mean, even at plus one, if I get a light screen up, that'll be bad. But he actually goes into Dracovish instead. Um, let's reflect here, right? Then we'll go into this. Dragon Dance up. With the Prism Armor, this should be game, right? Because one more Dragon Dance and I'm faster than Calyrex. Maybe faster than Calyrex. Unless this Calyrex is Sash, which it definitely should be, right? Okay, so it definitely was Sash. Um, I do have Defog on Ho-Oh. We're going to go to Cinderace, though. Because if I can sucker punch this thing, that'd be great. Uh, like he, what, what's this switch in? This is paralyzed. This is paralyzed. This is gonna take a shit ton, and then that dies. So, <laughs> um, and if I get a defog off, then my my cal my own Calyrex wins. So, ooh. Okay, I think if I still get the default golf, I can win with, like, Astro Barrage plus Sucker Punch. Yeah. 
And if I Thunder Wave him, then... Yeah. So now we could probably, like, Roostall him. Because even at the plus one... Plus one to cross... Well, I actually don't know. He might still outspeed. Okay, he doesn't. He does Dragon Dance, though, so that's not great. <laughs> uh, I think we're out of range of anything that could, like, harm us too much. So I'm just going to keep on Sacred Firing until he dies. And he's not boosting defenses. If he was, like... If this thing got, like, Iron Defense or something like that, that would be crazy, first of all. But also, um... That, that would make me more scared. And this thing still has the Shadow Sneak, so I don't want to play around too much. Oh, he does have a healing move. So I really need him to get, like, paralyzed or something. Or attack and kill me, so I can go out into Cinderace. And then, I think I would have to Pyroball. So now, I'm in a conundrum where... I have to... Because this Dracovish is at 100%. And this Necrozma Dustmane. Necrozma Dustmane. Let's just say it's offensive Dragon Dance. He is at. He went for one Dragon Dance, two Dragon Dance. So he's at three Dragon Dances in speed. But he's paralyzed, which means he's at 292. Uh, I don't wonder he outspent me. Okay. So I definitely do, and he's at, what, 29%? So does Cinder Ace beat this? Oh, you turn kills. You turn kills like a motherfucker. <laughs> so we you turn out into, oh, but then he can just bring in the, uh, okay. I think I have to, because this is paralyzed, right? I'm trying to make it so this Dracovish can't beat me. So if I U-turn out into Calyrex, then he will just bring in Marshadow. Marshadow will bring me down to Sash. And then I would kill it. And then Dracovish comes in. So let's see. Calyrex at plus one to Dracovish, let's just say Dracovish is choice bad. Okay, so yeah. So I think I have to U-turn out. I need to U-turn out into Calyrex. Let Marshadow take me to Sash. And then I win with that. And if Marsh if Calyrex dies, then I still have my Oh he but oh that's interesting. It's very interesting. So at non plus one, do I kill Astro Barrage? This is Focus Ash though. Oh, pfft, it still does that much? Jesus Christ. Okay, so he choked. Because even if the Marshadow comes in now, I will beat it. I'm Sash. So he has to hope that I'm not Sash to win. And there, I know you're set, so you definitely don't win now. So, good game to my opponent. This is a great game to end off. I really had to think about the end game there. But I think I set myself up um, to win by bringing in Ho-Oh on the Necrozma and getting the Defog off. Also, this team is really good with status. So, as you saw there, I have Grimmsnarl with Thunderwave, Ho-Oh with Thunderwave as well. And threats that take advantage of that. So, of course, you had... Obstagoon that can knock off everything on his team, and then Cinder Ace will benefit from just being libero. And just once you've Thunder Wave something, he's usually faster than it, unless it's like Scarf Reggie Lecky or something crazy like that. Um, but that doesn't even get paralyzed. But anyway, I thought I played that game really good. Happy with the outcome. Also happy that this was what we ended it on, and we ended it on 1540, so I think we might have went up like a couple of points, because I want to say I lost, yeah, we lost the one game, but um, you know, we did good this live, so if you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like down below, if you want to see some more Pokemon Showdown content, um, go ahead and let me know, let me know what kind of a tier you want me to play in, or if you want me to use a specific Pokemon or team, um, I'm really open to like figuring these things out, um, I'm not the best player, uh, but I'm 
always uh, improving. Um, and if you want to see more content, like I said, just subscribe for more. Uh, comment what you want to see down below, and I'll see you guys in the next live. Peace.